All right, you guys, we just used a cook and serve chocolate pudding mix. And then I went ahead and did two cups of hot milk. Now we're just going to mix this until all of the chocolate is completely mixed and blended up where you do not have any big chunks. Uh oh, look at this, y'all. I got chocolate on the side, which is totally okay. So once this is completely mix we're going to set that aside we're going to put that in the oven not oven sorry y'all refrigerator for about 30 minutes next up we are going to go in with some triple chocolate fudge super moist cake all right so we're gonna empty that out completely now this is going to be a dish that you and your kids are going to absolutely die for when it comes to Halloween season. Here's one fourth of a cup. This is something that you can do with them or without. All right, I have some eggs. Now we're gonna need some three eggs. Since it is starting to get into festive season, you want to do some more things with the kids, make mummies, uh, make sweet desserts, whether it's like witch um, brew or all sorts of unique stuff. Tis the season, and this is just another beautiful dish that you and your family can make together. Now I have some grape seed oil, what I have found out to be the best like cooking oil. I really, really love it. All right, what I'm going to do is three fourths, y'all. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Just gotta make sure that it is in. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to use three fourths of the scrape seed oil. Perfect. All right. Now we're just going to blend this bad boy up. Now the mixture, once that is cooled, we're going to poke some holes into the cake mix once it is fully um, cooked and firmed up so that pudding falls through those cracks. Even though that this cake mix already, it has mixture of pudding, we want it to have that really uh, moist and dirt kind of look, whether it is like mud. And then all the fun is gonna take place on top and I can't wait to show you guys how your little loved ones are going to absolutely freak out when they see how cute their graveyard is going to be now that was a little 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 hint of what we're doing all right and i'm using a foil tray today because i do not want to ruin the top all right just make sure you spray those sides perfect now we're just going to pour this in It is going to rise, so do not worry. Let me move this to the side. Make sure we get all of our mixture because this is going to be our dirt. All right. Go ahead and get this out just like that. Now we're going to put this in the oven at 325 for about 35 minutes. Once this comes out and firms up, we're going to poke the holes and I'm going to show you the next steps. Now this is the fun part. I'll give you a sneak peek of the deliciousness. Okay. All right. So we'll see you when we get back. We've got a couple more steps. Two. All right, guys. So I have the cake. It is all chilled and firmed. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting all these holes in the cake. Wow. We're going to call this for now without its makeup, Holisha. <laughs> all right, well, we get all these holes right here. All right, let's not waste too much time. So I, I was supposed to make Jello, but it never turned into Jello. So let me know in the comments um, what you would do differently. That's the reason why I put the holes, kind of make kind of make like a chocolate tres leche, but not with the sweet condensed milk. Now that's just going to be soaked up. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. 
It's going to be a lot of chocolate, but it's going to soak it up just perfectly, y'all. All right, so I'm going to move this to the side, and I'm going to bring in my bowl. I got some Cool Whip. Perfect. I'm going to just take this all out of here. Now, Cool Whip is super sweet. For a second, I thought about making my own like whipped cream. But then you gotta put a lot of powdered sugar. The good thing about Cool Whip is it already comes sweetened. Okay, then I have another chocolate. Now this asks for half, not the full box. Cause that'll be a lot. As if, the, obviously you guys, this is for the chocolate lovers. So this is gonna be absolutely delicious. So we're just going to gently whisk all of this around now you could definitely have your kids in here helping you out or mama you want to do it by yourself you got it show your kids that you actually know how to make something other than Salisbury steak in the oven okay so we're gonna mix all of this comes into I'm gonna put a little bit more so it has a browner tint to it so maybe three-fourths of the box all oh, right just like that you guys mm. looks so delicious mmm oh I can't wait for y'all to see this cake it's already soaked up like a sponge cake y'all okay so I'm gonna bring back in the cake Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Just soaking it up. So I'm gonna put the frosting on top. Let me see if that is enough. Don't wanna bombard. Look how fluffy that looks, y'all. So cute. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure you do all four corners. Try to get it as leveled as possible. Just like Ooh, y'all. That's looking mighty cute. All right, so we're gonna go in with some Hershey chocolate. Just gonna do perfect. Then we're gonna go in with some caramel syrup on one end. Honestly, y'all, y'all can end there, but we're not. We surely are not. So we're going to move this to the side. I got my Oreos. Got the double stuffed Oreos today. Gonna need about 16 of these bad boys. Got a little plastic baggie that we're gonna just throw on in here. I'm trying to get these out for you guys. Now, I never knew that these um, Halloween treats be taking so much time to consume, but here we are doing it. We're doing it, y'all. We ain't shying away from nothing. Mm -mm. Let me get a couple more of these in here. Now, what I like to do is I like to get out the air. All right. Now we got this roller, and we're just going to... these you could do this in a food processor if you want but that's just another thing to wash I ain't trying to wash that oh yeah you just go like that bring this up be easy just like put the other end 
straight up into that. Just like that, y'all. All right, one last bang. Perfect. All right. Bring back your delicious tray with your cake. All right, here we go. And we're gonna put, cover it with our dirt. Mm. Ooh, y'all. Look at that. Now you're gonna come in, you're gonna move this around all four corners again. Let's get into it. Make this look super, super pretty. Cause that is what we are going for. Right, perfect. Okay, so next step, I got my sprinkles. This whole bottle was like a multicolor. The person on Instacart completely, you should get fired. Honestly, I had to go through this whole bottle of multicolor. It was awful. It took me about 30 minutes. So make sure you get the, a good angle of this because this is worthy. You put all these Halloween colors on top of this. Just like that. You really want that to be shown. Make a really cute Halloween chocolate mud cake. That is what we are doing today for the kids all across the world. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna move this to the side again. I got my, how you pronounce this? Milano. Milano, perfect. Those little fancy cookies. All right, so I'm just gonna place them. Why they do five, that's so odd. I hate odd numbers. All right, I got some black gel. Now on each one, I'm just gonna write, I don't know if y'all can see this. R.I.P. So we're gonna do that to all five of these. What we are doing here, we're just making little tombstones. Making it look really cute and ghost-like. R.I.P. All right. Perfect. And at any moment, you ain't got to do it exactly like this. You could do it how you like. If you want to do maybe red for blood, go ahead and do it. Bring it back in. I'm just going to put that in right there. Graveyard is sitting. It is sitting, baby. RIP. RIP, this is Kyra Stags. This one should have been Yvonne, but the Lord saved her. Oh, I forgot about him. Possibly hope. We'll see. All right, y'all. Let's get straight into it. Now I have some nice little cute eyeballs. Now we're gonna go ahead and use these eyeballs. Now again, Instacart, I asked for the Halloween marshmallows. They gave me these jumbo o marshmallows. I was like, what am I gonna do with that? So you gotta improvise. I'm just gonna get two and I'm going to cut this in half. 
All right. So we're just gonna cut these marshmallows up in half, just like that. All right. So we're just gonna go back in with our black gel. Gonna use one big one. And put that right there. Submerge that. Looking all scary. I'll already put a little bit more. Brian's hungry. He wants some of this dessert. Brian actually loves chocolate, y'all. If y'all didn't know. That's how. I eat all the chocolate. You surely do. Alright, put that in your graveyard. Alright, actually, that actually, maybe one more. This is just looking too cute. Too cute. Alright, a little bit more of this sauce. This little, little craft. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. It's a craft. Halloween craft. On top Dessert. with, yeah, on top of cooking. Alright. Alright, you guys, so here's my cemetery. This looks so cute. Go ahead, eat some of it if you want but at your own risk because it's pretty deathly. All right, guys, have fun. Happy Halloween.